Hello and welcome back. This is Efficient Strategy Gaming and we're going to be playing Hearts of Iron 4 Historical Germany today. So far we've taken over France and Poland and we're at war with the Allies. We're going for Norway and we just have conquered Denmark right there. So it looks like um, we will be attempting the crossing so we're going to go a little non-historical. I looked up when Yugoslavia was invaded, and it actually was not until 1941, so we don't need to worry about that yet. Uh, what I'm going to do here is, so we just demanded uh, Slovenia, and we have a war goal against um, Yugoslavia. So we might have to actually declare against Yugoslavia if someone else uh, starts to attack them as well. So it's nice to have that war goal. We're going to then uh, befriend Japan because we need to get the tripartite uh, pact by September 1940. We need also need to align Hungary and Romania because at the end of this year, uh, in November, they join the Axis. And then we're going to prepare next year for the invasion of Yugoslavia, Greece, and then Operation Barbarossa. So all of this has been quite interesting for me. As you know, I'm a World War II junkie, so... Whoa, that looks ugly. So yeah, I am completely happy to do these builds. If you guys have any suggestions, just give me a holler. I'd love to do some builds for you. Okay, they need some help over here. It's easily makeable for um, this cast right here, so that should be able to help out. Do we have the seaplanes? I'd like... Yeah, let's get them over there. That's fine. See how this stuff is going over here. Oh man, they have 1,300. Well, that's still less than us. Oh, and I need to get this going over here. So he's ready to go. Guderian is ready to cross. We just need to eliminate some of this stuff over here, this junk. We have airplanes. Finland capitulated. Yuck. I kind of need these guys' help over here. There we go. I try to make Rommel a Panzer leader. So von Manstein was kind of down here in the south, so we'll have him continue on doing that. Um, Beck, I think, started off someplace in Barbarossa as well. I don't know if he was Army Group North. We'll say that he was, and he'll go right here. God, this is going to be a large territory to conquer now that Finland's there as well. I guess we can start an invasion from this side of things. I'll just keep these paratroopers up here and von Kukler's men. I know these guys can get on the line up here. Yeah, they can just move across, I think, pretty freely. Now that I say that, this uh, sortie's gonna grab him. Let's get convoy escort out there. 
Okay, so there are two things happening here. Okay, we've got Panzerkampfwagen 4. I believe Tigers came next, but they came kind of after Operation Barbarossa. We can develop it. It's going to take 234 days. Why not? Okay, here we go. And Von Kuklu's men's moving across. Perfect. That'll work. Like, why does it do that? No, I just want you to... What is going on here? God, they need to change this, like... Okay, so they're engaged, so I can't do anything with them right now? I don't know. Who knows? Doesn't look like anything's happening over there. Did we lose a ship? We lost a convoy. Okay, you boys. I guess I'll give Monstein some panzers, why not? So we're gonna distribute them kind of how it was done in World War II, I guess. I don't know, maybe we should just say, yeah, let's dismantle Maginot. That probably happened a bit later, but... War propaganda against Soviet Union. Let's read this. Weekly war uh, support plus 1%. Okay, I want to save this um, for a little later. So we're going to dismantle the Maginot first. Alsace Lorraine set land fort level two. This might be better, better suited for Eagle Seer, but I'm going to have Rommel do it. Okay, again, some kills there. Let me see if I can increase the infrastructure here. Oh, it's nine. Wow. Or no, it's 60, but I mean, it's good enough. Yeah, we are going to need a ton of oil. So that's what I'm going to build here as much as possible. Alright, so we're going Befriend Japan, then we're going to do Align Romania, Align Hungary. And did you know, so looking up this build, about 50% of the German oil production by 1940 was coal liquidization. I did not know that. And I did not even look up synthetic rubber after that. I just got it. There actually was a Hermann Goering work 
And the KDF Wagon is just a name for a group of people that go out and do fun things together. So <laughs> I guess that motivated the workers to work harder or something. I'm not sure. What is going on here, guys? I mean... Should I just have the paratroopers finish this off? I think so. And then Kukler's men can just sit down here and... Yeah. Okay, Beck's gonna get a few tanks. Those guys can go to Kukler. I'm just balancing out everything here. We're not quite to MP4s yet, that's for sure. There's probably some other things that we need to do here. Man, upgrading that signal company would be nice. I think at this point we definitely would have better artillery. FW doesn't come till a little later, um, but we need to increase our industry for sure. So that's where we're going to be for a long time. Ninety days. So this is like I'll click this right as we're close to Operation Barbarossa. They got a cheeky artillery division there. Nice. Man, I wish I hadn't just... Uh, oh, perfect. I wish I hadn't lost, like, most of my frickin' navy. Right off the bat. That would have been nice. Wait, so Finland's back? From the dead? I don't know what to do about this. I'm just going to have these guys occupy it. We're not going to go Operation Barbarossa yet. Oh, here we go. Hmm. Max Weber, inflexible strategist, defense plus one, logistics plus one. He looks like a good guy to just sit there, sit back and defend things. So he'll be the occupation force here. And what I look for is that number right there going up or down. And that tells me that um, they're needed in that area to um, kind of crush resistance. I'm just going to put them all over both Poland there. And that's kind of what we're occupying so far. So I'll let them go ahead and do that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening here? Oh, they're attacking from this base right here. Okay. Let me get Von Lieb. So he's going to need to do a little amphibious invasion over there. 
to get that base out of there. It's raining outside right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Still don't have a good mic yet, but... <laughs> How does he have that little piece of land there? That's crazy. Get this going at max speed. So we are grinding them away down there. But we're getting ground away ourselves, so I need these guys to move back over. Canceling the lend lease. Oh, I can use these guys. There we go. That might be a nice little solution. See if we have any suppression here. Okay, Befriend J Japan is going to be a line, turn into a line hungry. So the way that this is going to work is I got Gobrov, Gobrom word shaft pretty early on um, so that I could basically transition into getting a line hungry, a line Romania. And once you have these two, uh, your diplomacy is more favorable with them as you'd expect. But then you can go integrate war economies. And when you get that, um, I believe if Romania is in a faction with the German Reich, add four military factories. Romania becomes a puppet of the German Reich. So that's what we want. And, you know, it's not historical. I don't exactly know the day when, you know, Romania became a puppet of the German Reich, but... Oh, no. Are they getting shot out? Okay, he's going to have to stop from crossing then. Take that off. Yeah, let's just not cross if it's dangerous right now. So this is actually playing out like real life. We're doing Battle of Britain somewhat. And if I can't clear these guys out, um, we might just have to go Barbarossa and then take our chances later and then play an actual, like it might play out like history did in the first place. Hungary seeks to join Axis. So that's a few months early. Uh, the world belongs to those who are strong. So, okay, a line of Hungary is done. Japan proposes the tripartite pact, May 1940. So that didn't happen till September, but that's that's fine. Yes, we want the pact. And Hungary joins the Axis. So we will now align Romania. Ooh, we're getting battleships and stuff now. Juicy. Okay. We got the tripartite pact. So apparently some other things that I learned from researching this video was that the axis was a term coined by Benito Mussolini. You know, this guy down here, leader of Italy. Um, that the world will spin on um, the axis between the Germany, you know, Germany and Italy, something like that. The friendship, the world will spin on the axis of the friendship of Germany and Italy. They, they said something like that. And then the tripartite uh, pact was basically between the three axis powers, Japan, Germany, and Italy, the classic ones that you always hear about. Although, you know, growing up, 
Italy signs it. Perfect. Growing up, I was always told that, you know... Oh, yeah. Call the arms. With what, though? Hungary wants our help. Enemy Soviet Union? No, screw you. There's no way. So they're going to get attacked by the Soviets? They're attacking the Soviets. Are you crazy, Hungary? Oi, oi, oi. Okay, can I put some guys in there to block that? Like, if I just stand there? Can these guys come in and just stand there? So anyway, in the school books, it was always like, Oh, Japan and Germany, great allies forever. Yeah, it turns out they didn't really do much together. There was really kind of no point to them being allies. I don't know. I mean, in the end, it seems to me like they did both declare war against the U.S. So that's kind of where that tripartite pact comes into play. You know, who knows what Hitler was thinking at that point. It doesn't make any sense. I don't think he really thought that the America was going to fight. I think by that point, Hitler was in a little bubble, and he had no idea what was going on in the world. But that might have been the case the whole time. Who knows? Oh, so these guys are communists. They're probably going to declare war against me. So let's have Eagle Seer head down here then. And we'll just have them set up for orders. Standard Spain orders. You know. You guys know how it goes. Gonna need a little sneaker to come with him. Oh, I can probably release Hell here. Quite the name. Oh, he has the um, the ability, the Winter Specialist, so he's going to need to stay up here, actually. I'll have him go Army Group Center. These guys need to stop it. Just stop it. That stupid hungry thing. It's just... I want it to play out a little smoother to where I don't have to worry about all this junk, but sometimes it happens, I guess. Next year, there's going to be a lot going on. Because next year is Barbarossa and Yugoslavia and Greece. I, I don't have the confidence that we're going to be able to cross the channel. I mean, we're not even really winning the Battle of Britain or the Battle of the Channel, whatever you want to say. Let's look at our production lines because we mainly will need... Yeah, Panzer III is outdated, but yeah, I want Panzer IVs as well. Let's go down to that. How much equipment, like how many guns do I have? 200,000. That's a, 
Amazing. And we're going to need them for Barbarossa, though. Okay, so these guys are down here doing their thing. I can upgrade a plane. It's going to have to be fighters. And then what's the the most try-hard way of doing this? It's going to have to be reliability and engine. Okay, don't need trucks whatsoever. Uh, we can definitely go less on Panzer IIs. Got plenty of artillery. I'm keeping these older production lines because we have uh, production efficiency caps that are pretty well off. So I just want to... We're going to need a lot of equipment for Barbarossa. Tungsten. All right. It's all looking pretty good. We can't even control our the Baltic right now, so let's back off this Guderian. That ain't going to work. I don't think we're going to take out England. And Guderian's going to line up right there. Huh. Does any of that make sense? Not really. And then, okay, I'll have him maybe wheel around there. I'm not used to dealing with this lineup because I never go Molotov or Eventrop Pact. But that's okay, we'll make it work. Um, probably attacking across this river isn't the best thing, but that's what I'm going to need to have happen. Yeah, 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 we have XL Division. Okay, they'll get out of there. Who was over there? Who did I put over there? Beck? I put Heinrici over there. Heinrici will focus on taking the port down here. Sevastopol, this is Odessa, yeah, Odessa. Man, I, I really see how you can get stretched. Okay. Osti is going to be on convoy escort, and we'll try to get some troops across the Baltic here. Just take out their sub bases. Okay, we have control of the channel right now. Fighters almost equal. They're taking out our bombers pretty quickly. Man, look at that. 
I can't make these bombers fast enough before they just destroy them all. Yep, we're gonna go Romel. Let's see, is there anyone? No one getting trained over here, huh? Let's train the anti tank. Get a few divisions of those going. here medium tanks guess that's okay I should be able to pump out a lot of motorized divisions okay that's too many we want a reserve of of uh, trucks for operation Barbarossa Did we make it over Yes. Half tracks. Yes, sir. Okay, we're going to start a production line of half tracks. Now, why would we do that? Because they had half tracks in World War II. So we'll start adding those on to like SS divisions, specialized divisions, something like that. Probably don't need as many of these. Or these for that matter. Got a good amount of support equipment. Artillery's looking good. Tanks are looking good. Trucks are looking good. Oh, I can deploy more fighters. Okay. Let's win the Battle of Britain here. Question is what what are the Soviets packing right now? Have they been lollygagging or are they the real deal, you know? Cancel Lindley, so okay. All right, so we aligned Romania. But I kind of want them in the axis before I click that last button. Integrate war economies. Ask her. Maybe they'll align with us by the time I get finished with it. Because it's November that I need to get them in there. And then we need to start. Uh, well, I already have the war goal against Yugoslavia. Yeah. Whatever. Let's just say I'll probably get Romania in the ap axis. So by the time this is complete, I'll improve relations. Which doesn't even matter because it's like... It's almost full here. What is this? Fascist? Okay. Hungary demands Transylvania. All I'm fine with that. Let's boost party popularity too. Start working on encrypt encryption and decryption. Hmm. 
What has no template? Mechanized equipment. Correct. You are correct. Okay, to get a template like that, we will have to duplicate this. Go mech. And then, is there a little mechanized picture here? Oh, come on, there's no mech picture? Just make him the horse. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. Got that template. Let's start training. I'll get a whole army of mechanized forces out there. It's probably only going to take me like five years. Alright, we got a lot of guys just hanging out there. Okay, Ritter Von Lieb, get all your boys back. Hungary seeks meditate <laughs> mediation. With the situation in the Balkans quickly moving towards all-out warfare, Hungary has decided to ask for mediation of Transylvanian dispute. They have approached us to request that we sit on the commission to decide the fate of Transylvania. They clearly believe that we will argue their case in the upcoming conference. Well, since they're in the Axis, I'm going to have to go with Hungary. Romania seeks mediation. Faced with increasing pressure from Hungary, Romania has asked for an impartial commission to decide the dispute over Transylvania. They have approached us to sound out our willingness to sit on that commission. No doubt they believe that we will defend their claims to the area. Sure. I'm trying to butter up uh, Romania. What? They joined the con the common turn. This offer does not extend quite that far. Kingdom of Romania betrayed our cause. Hungary declares war on Romania. Shoot. Are we at war with them? No. We'll cancel this crap. So we're just going to have to take them out. So let's get Lieb over here. Let's get Witzelbind over here. God damn it. Hungry. Okay, so am I going to have to justify a war goal? You have a non-aggression pact. Yugoslavia declared war in Bulgaria. Okay. So this is going to kick off just a little early. Um, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to have to do this. I'm going to have to declare war against them. All right, Ramel.
I don't want war against the Soviets quite yet. It looks like Italy's going to get Yugoslavia, which I don't really care. They can get that. Oh. Dude, we're like majority fascist. Damn it. Hungary, get some frickin' backbone. Italy wants us to go to war with the Soviets. No. We're going to do that on our own. Operation Barbarossa is one of those uh, time frames that needs to be, like, spot on. God, they're still grinding away my Air Force. Interestingly enough, I don't know why this guy... Battlecruiser Dunkirk class? What the... Where the hell did that come from? Battlecruiser Dunkirk class. I don't have a Dunkirk class. Is that like a Vichy France deal? All these guys are set... It's Yeah, it's not one of my guys. Search and destroy. Okay, province. Huh. Province is someplace over here. Let's see. These guys are hanging in there. I don't know how, but good for them. Finland. No, Finland. Okay. Let's get Kukler in a good position here. It's kind of interesting going backwards like this into Finland. Probably going to need to get better infrastructure right there, though. And make that a priority. Yeah, we can barely keep up with all the things in here. Yeah, you need to help yourself out. Okay, another interesting fact. Wow, Bulgaria's going to die. Damn it. Damn you, Romania. Come on, we're mostly fascist here. When is the revolution going to start, huh? We no longer m dismantle the Maginot Line? All right. This uh, gentleman right here, Boris III, would not give Bulgarian Jews to uh, Hitler. So Hitler wanted to meet up with him, and Boris was a man enough to go meet up with Hitler. And uh, long story short, Hitler actually uh, killed him. True story. True story. When I read that, I was, like, completely amazed. We don't need the Reichs. Maybe we do need the Reichs, Commissarat. It's October 1940. We're not even supposed to go for Yugoslavia until 41. So we get Norway, Oslan, Ukraine. That probably wouldn't have happened until later, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some research in between videos. I'm going to have to think about this and see kind of where I want to go from here.